good morning children today we are going to discuss about the python built in string function actually last year we discussed some string functions huh? now we are going to see how this the immutable string data going to be changed so these are the new three functions we are going to uh, study here what are the function first one is string dot join the next function is string dot split off then the third function is string dot replace come we will discuss one by one clearly children before that i want to confirm one thing that cbse reduce our syllabus from the 14th lesson to 13th lesson the 14th lesson is a theory part huh? the theory part carries 10 mark in our public border huh? but now this the 10 mark is going to be added with the boolean algebra as that is uh, networking part that it is then second one is a uh, database sql so here we are not going to study about this the theory part of 14th lesson instead of that we have to do more concentration in the programming part of python as well as sql because the mark is going to be added only in these th uh, two parts so now we discuss about this one we discussed earlier about this length of a string so we are giving this uh, the optimus like we are giving now uh, it can give the number of characters in this string so the optimus carry, uh, character carry about what t h e space uh, four character o p t i eight character m u s uh, eleven character so it will uh, return the value of eleven like string dot capitalize it will capitalize the first character of a string so these are the function we discussed earlier now we are going to see some new functions the first one string dot join of join is a function going to attach one string what we are going to give to the other string what we are going to give in this brackets okay the string i treble that means continuous characters not a single one see, see here string i treble i treble that refers what a more number of characters see the example now here hi h i is a character is called what a, a string constant dot join of python is a i treble string character now each of the character is going to be added with this string given here see here p h i then next character of y h i then next character of t then h i next character of h then h i o h i n h i so this is string uh, going to be added included in each and every character of this one so this is the function join works like this now we can have at as a string character can be joined with the, the string i triple called tops see here t at then next character is o at then p at s at so the character is joining like this so this is the use of this join function now we will discuss about the second one the function called a string dot split off here we can have a single character or a i triple string that means more number of characters or a single character we can give see now the optimus public school is one string we are having dot split off see here there is nothing given in this function bracket arguments then that default read the space bar it takes a space bar as a splitting character if we are not give anything here in this the function bracket then the split off function will take a space bar in between the words now that the space bar character will be a split character see how it is splitting the optimus public school is continuous one string uh, is going to be splitted with the space bar of the here optimus here public here see the become a single character then opt uh, not single character single string uh, optimus become another string public become another string school become other string so it is going to split this the optimus public school one word into four words four strings is it clear to you oh. we can have one character or symbol whatever we want to make it as a split so that the character will not be included in our part uh, that the character is making as a splitting part see here tops hyphen optimus we have a string like this now we are going to split this character o where we can find the o there the string is going to be splitted see here tops hyphen optimus is a string enclosed in quotation dot split of character o 
now see t become 1 because o is coming there no so up to this one the particular string data will be splitted c becomes one string then this o is a splitting character will not come there next to that o here p s hyphen up to this o is coming now so up to this o this become another string so p s hyphen become another string then the o is a splitting character will not come the remaining p t i m u s that become one another string are you able to understand i think so the split of which character or which string we are going to use that is going to be a splitting data that up to that the that splitting data which is coming there no present there no up to that the data is going to be splitted yes now the third function we are going to discuss that is string dot replace of we can replace any word with any other word any character with any other character like see here the string what we want to replace here it has to be given in that the string which which word or which character has to be replaced that has to be given first argument of this replace function then want to be replaced that has to be given in the second of the argument of this function so the replace is a function having two arguments is it clear now example the tops is our school this is a string in this the string i want to replace this word tops as the optimus see here tops is our school string dot replace function having tops the character which i want to replace the string comma to be replaced as the optimus is it clear so which i want to be replaced here what i want to make change in this one that is given here so two arguments now see this the tops in is our school becomes tops is going to be replaced as the optimus the optimus is our school i think that you are able to understand tops is our school dot replace of tops comma the optimus so where the tops present that and all will get replaced as the optimus this word so here the tops is present in the first word so the first word become what the optimus see here now we are going to discuss why we want to change this uh, immutable string to be replaced with the mutable type like like we are want to do some changes in this no for what purpose see here this the string function are mainly used in decryption and encryption what is it by decryption and encryption when we are typing a password the password should not be same then other all people can able to recognize it no so we want to change that the password into some other unreadable code we can use any of the function and make it as a decrypted decrypted means the word what we typed will be changed to some other form okay when the password going to be enabled then it has to be encrypted that the words which is newly joined has to be replaced the original password has to be executed there is it clear so here that the process is called what encrypted so while using the password the password has to be changed into some other form that's called a decryption that can be added with this uh, or it can be splitted uh, or it can be replaced uh, like that then it has to be again redo the process then it has to be, that is called what encrypted process then that should be making the password to execute i hope that you are able to understand this the string function now next uh, i am going to post the other video using random functions clear children